My choice this week is the ambitious feature debut by Shola Amu, hailed by the observers Wendy-eyed as a distinctive and bold new voice in British cinema, a moving image. I'm just eating kale. I can see that. Why? It's just what I do all day. After Pilates and yoga and a little trip to prep. We've lost that cohesive. Addressing the thorny subject of the gentrification of London in general and Brixton in particular, a moving image centres on Tanya Fears Nina, an artist who returns to her old stomping ground to work on an amorphous project about how the area has changed. Unsurprisingly, she's viewed with suspicion by locals who see her as an outsider and who think that her art is a distraction from the real battles to be fought. But gradually she starts to win their trust to convince them that she can make something worthwhile. Now, exactly what that something is remains unclear. The film Nina is making seems to be a strange art-doc-drama hybrid, a description which could also be applied to Shola Amu's odd but nonetheless engaging film. Amid the narrative drama, there are interviews with Brixton residents and footage of the reclaimed Brixton March from 2015, all of which blur the line between fact and fiction, reportage and reinvention. Be warned, at times the free-flowing genre crossing can seem rather alienating, putting a strain on the central dramatic conceits which are stretched to breaking point. But stick with it and you start to unearth unexpected rewards. Gradually, a moving image achieves a cumulative power, emerging as an undeniably honest and heartfelt experiment which has some insightful and non-judgmental things to say about the way areas change and about the fluid relationship between the past and the present. Mm -hmm.